Rabah as a Emirati designer would like to know how and why you are in the Miami Fashion Week, not in Dubai Fashion Week or in Arabic Country Fashion Week. Well, I was uh, very fortunate to be invited by Beth Sabol, who's been very kind and supportive. Uh, she invited me to show here at Miami Fashion Week, and I took the opportunity. I thought it was a perfect opportunity to finally show uh, the beauty of our veils in America. Okay. Would like to know what did you inspire about around this show? What was your inspiration? My inspiration. Uh, it was most definitely the Muslim women uh, of different cultures, uh, women of the East, of the West. Uh, very much the inspiration was my Muslim sisters around the world and it was to create something that shows our culture, our tradition, but in a very moderate and modern way, which I think is true of who we are today. So I wanted to sort of, sort of so as to show a softer side of our culture to the West, to America. It's also to raise awareness that our hijabs are something um, out of choice that we wear. It's something we take pride in. It's something that we also like to fashion out and style out. Uh, it's not a threat. That's what we're. we're that's why I wanted to show more color and show a, a much softer collection to show that you know this is not a threat. This is something beautiful, and, and we want to show you the variations of how we wear it and, and you know what the, the style of the Arab women or the Muslim women that we are stylish, we do love fashion, but we don't compromise on our faith and our deen. Okay, uh, let's talk about the tissue that you used for this collection. The fabrics? Yeah. I've used a lot of different fabrics. Um, I, of course, because it's Miami and we wanted to show, uh, they wanted us to show the summer and spring feel, so uh, I did use the summer cotton sateens, my usual jerseys that I use in my sportswear, uh, knits, and I did some silks as well, um, and some chiffons. Okay. Um, is it easy to make a show, a fashion show, as a Muslim Arabic woman in Occidental country like here in Miami? Uh, is it easy? Uh, certainly not. Uh, of course, uh, it took a lot of guts, but I have to say, alhamdulillah, I've uh, not felt um, any less confident or any, any um, I mean, I felt really good about it uh, because the, the, the platform is great. I was so happy when she said I can show my collection as is, I don't have to edit it because it's America. And that's what made me very happy that I can show my woman the way I always show them in all my shows. excited to have Rabia here with us this year. It was just an incredible cultural exchange and experience for all of our guests from the West to see something coming from the East like this. And uh, the, the women were beautiful. It's uh, just a very exquisite collection that she showed us here tonight. It's a very special experience for us here. And we very much appreciate Rabia bringing her collection for us here. I was um, chosen to be creative director of Dubai Fashion Week for a year and a half, and I did two seasons there. And the show was really forward. Um, we decided to go very couture and very high fashion here, um, just the to the colors. The, the you'll see the jewelry was, you know, amazing. All the different, you know, styling, the sunglasses. It's very forward, even a slightly futuristic touch. ربما مشاركة رابعة الإماراتية في أسبوع الموضة هنا في ميامي هي نوع من التعرف على ثقافة الآخر عن طريق الزي ليث بزاري العربية ميامي فلوريدا